This video blog is um, to demonstrate a bug that came out in release 6, a bad mistake on my part, and then also to show how to change the company logo. Um, I think I've got another video on that, but I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to show that to all the new users. So the bug is pretty straightforward, um, and let me tell you where it came from. So essentially what I wanted to do is to change the tables, so now I can actually add and remove them directly from a list of tables. Now to remove them, really, you would need to be able to do a delete all and it would delete them. What I didn't do, however, is I didn't do the negative. Um, uh, actually, I should say verify the negative, which is what happens if it doesn't exist by delete, it actually crashes the app. And that's because it's trying to delete an item um, that doesn't exist. There is a check in there, but I made a typo in the check. So pretty straightforward. It's kind of a bummer that I actually made that mistake, but you know, it is what it is. Um, a fix has already been uploaded to the App Store and should be available. I actually asked for expedited review. They're pretty good about those, so hopefully it'll be in the next couple of days that'll be resolved. So the next thing I want to demonstrate is um, changing the icon. So if we go down here, we're actually going to see the company logo um, is a uh, uh, it's not really defaulted. This is just shows you that there's an icon there and the best way to do this would be you press on it actually comes up with a form and changes it. I didn't have time to do that. Um, what was already built into the app when I made all these these new changes for release six was if you change a image and we'll just go ahead and grab an image here. Let's see screenshots. See if you got something here that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to take something icky I suppose. All right, say we want this as our company logo, bad as it is. What we would do is you'd actually create that as an image, and then we would go into our My Images and change that. So now if we change this to Company Logo, and this is a case-sensitive exact match. Company. Right? Save that. And now if we open up a form which would have a company logo, so form company logo, we'll see it appears where the logo appears. And it's sized correctly and everything like that. So um, eventually, like I said, I'll go ahead and convert this over so that all you have to do is press on this. It'll move over, actually give you the ability to select that from the uh, um, photo library. But I just didn't have time to do it before this release. And those are the two things that I want to demonstrate in this uh, video blog. And so if you have any questions or if you'd like to have some features added to GraphPad, please just send me an email through my contact form. Thank you very much.